Hello everybody, my name is Gracie and welcome to a new Legend of Keepers series. Now, as of recording date, as of today, the Troll DLC has come out, the Feed the Troll DLC as you can see right here. So there is a new master with new minions and new missions and all that fun stuff. So I am so excited. I absolutely love this game. I have done so many series on this game on my channel. It's been a while since I've done one and with this DLC dropping today, I thought for sure I had to do it. now. I don't know when this episode will go up. I do have a kind of a, a, a lot of stuff in the works right now, uh, but this I might go ahead and put this further up in the queue. So you might see this relatively soon, you may not. But as of the recording, this is completely new. So this is very, very exciting. Let's, let's go in now. I don't know a ton about this new hero. So we're gonna kind of learn about this together. So I have, ooh, I got an achievement. <laughs> Sorry, that's not... So we have... Our original masters were... M M Mog? What was his name? Mog, the slaveholder. So Lyra, the engineer. And... Sorrel, the enchantress. Now... I like things about all of these masters. I would have to say that she's always been my favorite. I think Toeris is my second favorite. She was the first DLC that came out. She's a big sleepy hippo goddess of fertility she woke up and uh, was trying to get mortals to start worshiping her again which is really funny and she's got these unique uh, um, uh what are they called they're like sarcophagus they have she has sarcophagus traps that are unique um things to her play style which is really really cool so let's take a look at the um the troll Let's rock and troll Oh, that was embarrassing. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. So we've got the new troll. Now, I'm seeing new minions right off the bat. Skeletons, sure. We've got Skeleton Dog. I think they've changed the icon for this. We've got Skeleton Soldier. And we have our Skeleton Majorette. This is a shaman, apparently. That's cool. So it looks like we have, like... What are these? Animal people? Spirit animal people or something? I don't know. This is... Oh, God. Oh no, so this is a Naguru, Naguru Vilu, oh god, an An Anhanga, and a Nagual, Nagual, oh my god, <laughs> oh no, I don't have any idea how to say these, oh boy. Uh, we also start with a circular saw and a furnace, so we've got fire, bleeding, ice, fire, physical, ice. <laughs> Uh, fire. Okay, so, so, so what? Is, what's going on here? So this character uses skeletons and these new like spirit creatures. I guess I don't know what these are yet. Ah, spirits. Okay, spirits. Uh, if we if we beat this first mission, we will get as a reward longevity idol. Spirits definitively gain five life when they kill a hero. It must be permanently. Okay, interesting. So so. There's new artifacts, there's new there's new creatures, and I'm guessing there's some new traps and stuff as well. So let's take a look at his talents. We should, we'll have one talent point, so let's take a look at what we have here. Monsters have a chance to gain enchant enhanced armor when activating a solar blessing. Ooh, that must be his, his special room abilities or spells or something. Spirits regenerate a percent of their maximum life when they kill a hero. Okay. The master gains five and 10 power. So that's this character. Uh, or skewering applies one or two additional bleeding stacks. What is that? That must be one of his attacks. Monsters have a chance to gain enhance. So let, let's, let's grab the skewering. <laughs> and then let's take a look at the info for this character. So this is Enchanchu. He is 421 years old. He is a troll. Though trolls prefer the calm of wide open wild spaces, Anchanchu was chased off his lands by civilization and colonization. Since then, he has been a particularly angry troll regarding humans. Curious by nature, he joined the company due to his many centuries of experience as a professional troll. His centers of interest, slow cooked human meat, shrunken heads and dried monster feasts. Drunken monster feasts. I don't know why, okay. He has only 700 life. That seems low. I think that's low. 120 power. His regeneration is 14. Now regeneration always starts at, I believe that's what, 2%? Yeah, 2% of the life. I think it's like that for all the masters. 
This character has low armor, air, and a little bit low nature, high ice and fire. So this is a very, from what we saw, this character seems to, at least at the beginning, specialize in fire, ice and fire, and some physical damage. So uh, let's get going in on the first uh, level here. Mm, I will ha Oh. Welcome, Unchanchu. I hope the buffet won't weigh too heavy on your stomach. At your assignment, there are many wild humans to devour. With the help of our enchantress, we have raised the Sun Temple to suit your talents. It will be your headquarters for this year. I wish you the best of barbecues. So my whole thing is just that I want to eat people? Enchant you. So let's get right off the... Let's... let's uh, where's my monster list? There it is. So we've got... How are these organized? You know what? I'm not going to worry about this. Let's just go. Let's just go. Until I've played with them, I don't know how to strategize with these new monsters anyway. All right, so we have our uh, trap room and then monsters. Now, these monsters do fire, physical, da -da -da -da, and bleeding. So, really, any of these would work. Fire damage or physical damage. Applies enraged. Places a penalty with a bonus at the start of her turn. Randomly moves all monsters. Ah! The first fight. Okay, I'm going to remember this time. So if she's going to replace a penalty with a bonus, then we want to give her... What's the best bonus? Uh, this is probably the, the worst penalty, is two bleeding. Furnace is better because it's a percent. Um, this is five, which is less than the percentage damage that the furnace will do. So I'm going to put the circular saw here first. Trap room. Now, we want this character at the front, so let's just put him like in the middle. Because he's going to swap them around. Um, and then it really doesn't matter. And the front's going to take air damage. So whoever has the strongest air damage. Here, he's the weakest to air. So let's put him in the front so he won't be there. I swear they changed this model. This is a really gruesome looking thing. And then this guy is uh, not wearing a lot of clothing, is he? Okay, so let's confirm that. I've got my spell room, which I don't know what they do yet. We'll just check it out when we get there. What's this cool looking thing? Whoa. What is this? That's cool. All right. Oh, spirit deer. Ooh, fun. So this time they won't get swapped around. So air damage and physical damage in the front. Ouch. That would be you, I guess. The second team is going to not do very well. What is this? Is this my starting artifact? Do I have a starting artifact? What is this? Furnace. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Enjoy. Oh, they didn't put him in the front. That sucks. He protects people behind him. And he got swept to the back. Oh, well. Uh, I guess I could have put him in the back so he definitely wouldn't be in the back that's probably what i should have done so our skeleton dog has only bite to start with uh, 30 physical applies bleeding but it can only hit the thing in the front so wow this is this this uh this kind of plays itself doesn't it oh my god yeah they definitely uh, upgraded this skeleton dog what's this guaranteed critical damage and morale dealt by next attack are increased by 50 percent why do you get that Spear strike. Apply some bleeding. He's got a lot of bleeding on him. So we could do AoE fire damage. Activate solar blessing. I don't know what that is yet. Should have checked that out ahead of time. Or fire damage and slowed in the back. This guy's quite resistant to fire. So let's do the AoE. Okay, I'm getting my ass kicked. Hang on. Hang on. Can I... Wait. Please. <laughs> let, me t let me take a turn. Solar Blessing. Increases physical and fire damage dealt to all fighters during the fights by 50%. Oh, does that include my own units? That's interesting. I think they changed his animation, too. I think they've done some animation upgrades. That's really cool to see. Okay, he's almost dead from that. So let's see. Celestial Betrayal. Anchanchu uh, has uh, Celestial Betrayal. 
A AoE air damage, if a blessing is active, replaces it with its opposite. So we can get what's lunar, I'm guessing. Frost whirlwind, 60 ice and air in the front. That's really strong. Or flaming mark, fire and bounty in the back. Let's do this one because it'll finish off this guy. Oh, no, he's going to die to his... Um, He's going to die to his bleeding anyway. I think. I think he'll die to bleeding. But you know what? He'll imply enraged at the start of the fight before he dies. So let's just finish him off. Okay, so we have swapped our blessing around. That's interesting. So now it's ice and air damage to all fighters. Interesting. So solar is fire and physical, and now we have ice and air, which is perfect because this looks like ice. Cool. Or physical. Oh, that'll kill. Ooh. And I gain dodge if the attack kills the target. Sure. Nice. Okay. Fire eater or baton throw. Bonk. Nice. Dodge. Ghostly charge, ice damage and tiredness to everyone, or 30 fire damage. Damage dealt is increased by 100% if a monster of the group has been defeated during this fight, which it hasn't been. One health, I can't believe that. Cool, whoa, what, whoa, what is a skeleton trumpeter and what is an Amaru? Neat. Nature and air. Okay. Skeleton trumpeter. Air. A uh, random defeated monster comes back to life as a skeleton warrior if the skeleton trumpeter is the last survivor of the group. <laughs> His name is Chuck. <laughs> uh, he also has a back air attack with his little doot doot trumpet. Apply air weakness. Uh, what I have to take this. This is so silly. Ah, this game is the perfect amount of silly and fun. Oh my god. Okay, go to the engineer. Spend some gold to upgrade our traps. We could go to the trainer. We could go to the merchant to buy a monster or a trap from this unscrupulous merchant. Now we have enough monsters. Let's put him back for, for a, a turn. Um, I think I'd rather have you back here with these characters because... Where, so my thinking is by the second room, I'm more likely to have killed a hero by that point to make it more likely that this person survives to get a turn. This person does extra damage if somebody's been killed. So it's probably better to have this one in the first group when the monsters are usually getting their butts kicked by the heroes. So that's what I'm going to do here. Um, do we want to upgrade our traps? The early trap upgrades kind of make a big difference, and then the later trap upgrades are usually not worth it unless you're swimming in money. So let's do the engineer. Um, we can afford both of these, so I'll probably upgrade both of them. Just make them better. Yeah, more damage, uh, more damage. Cool. We have the alchemist or an event. Cleaning accident. While dusting the dungeon, the cleaning goblin has freed a monster caught in a spider's web. He has also accidentally woken up a giant spider queen who demands compensation for the destruction of her webs. So we can um, we get a monster, but we either have to fight it, so we lose life if we fight because we can't feed her blood and we can't pay her money. So we're just going to fight her, automatically win, but we take some damage. Um, pretty low on everything, so let's do another event. Once upon a time, a wandering troubadour has... Uh, sorry, offers to sing for your employees in exchange for a modest sum. With the right employee, you can convince her to sing for free. Uh, I don't have that particular one. That's that Time Watcher character. Uh, I don't think I'm going to pay for that. Let's just continue on. And we have some adventurers. Oh, this is so exciting. I love this game. This game is so good. So, what do we have here in uh, Exile? Air damage and tiredness in the back uh, replenishes morale to characters. Fire damage in the front, nature damage in the front. Oh boy. So nature and fire in the front. Now they don't they don't dodge anything. So do we want to hit him with bleeding first or fire first? Looks like bleeding is will be very effective against them. So let's start with that. Why are you what? Wait, oh, that's that other minion I found. I forgot about that. Weird. All right, so let's slap uh, slap that one in because that way they'll, they'll be ready for a break. 
Now, we're going to take fire and nature in the front, but you also protect things behind you. So who doesn't take fire and nature damage? This one. So let's actually put you here and you here. So you'll take the fire and nature. You have resistances to those. And then the one in the back that's going to take air damage will just be another one of these. And they'll protect each other. Okay. So we probably want this one in the far back. More likely to die. Another trap. Furnace. Spell room. Second group of monsters. So we've got our doot doot chuck. We probably want him in the middle. Nature and fire in the front. That's going to be Megan. <laughs> Air in the back. That's going to be our chuck. And then we'll put lo lo loach. Lo loche. Lochi. Food. <laughs> oh my god. All right, there, there's a lot of things happening. Oh my god, all my units are slower. It's not ideal. Spear strike. Spear strike. Ow. Well, I thought this character might get a chance to use the vengeance, but looks like no. Mostly charge. Now that'll do 15 ice damage. So he won't take quite 15, but he's going to take 25 damage on his next turn. So I think this is the better one here. There we go. All right, we've got spear strike. Oh, that's pretty big damage, actually. Oh, they're 45% weak to physical. Yeah, that'll do it. And then we get... Uh, we don't get to use Vengeance still. We could do the Tiredness or we could just do Fire Damage. Now, it doesn't resist Fire, but is weak to Ice. So this is going to do... Well, this will do more damage overall. But the Tiredness... That character won't get another turn because of the poison. God, the heroes didn't make it past the first monster room. That's pretty cool. Ooh, what's this stuff? Okay, here's the Amaru again, and here's the giant Aura. That's cool. Air damage in the front and tiredness, or fire damage in the front, and burn and uh, activate solar blessing. Um, that seems good, because then we could try to combo, like put a bunch of fire and physical characters together and get that solar blessing going. Let's take that one. That seems cool. Let's get our monsters in for uh, some R&R. &R. And then let's make a little team. Uh, nope, all the fire damage dealers are busy at the moment, recuperating. Let's do like that. Um, that'll be okay while you guys are healing. Uh, we do actually have three fire characters here. So if we put, let's put Loach here. Because we got uh, a little bit of fire, fi uh, AOE fire. Okay, so you know what? Let's swap these rooms because the AOE is better at the beginning when we have more enemies in one place. This is fun. Learning new minions is really fun. What's this? Why do I have a... Oh, the archivist. That's right. So we've got new things unlocked. I don't really want to look at these. Calendar of the Apocalypse has the date 2012 on it. That's really funny. So it looks like there are new artifacts. So that's super cool. Some of them look like they're shaman artifacts. That's cool. Okay. So let's get back into it. The ninth door. Golthor demands blood, quenches thirst, and he will send one of his most dreadful avatars into the mortal world. Summons a random monster of demon type. Or we can do the ritual by paying 140 life. Uh, we have the blood, actually. Exactly. So let's offer the blood. 
we have been given something. This one, the morale one. It does air damage, so it's possible we could make use of this one. And more tiredness AoE, which is actually kind of funny because we're really going to make our enemies do no damage. Another event, Corporate Feast. You are invited to a work lunch with your employees. They are chanting your name when you, your turn comes to pay for everyone. What will you pay for? Plus one motivation for all available monsters if I pay for a meal. No thanks. A course or an engineer. We don't have any money for any of these things. God, I'm very low on money right now. Oh my god, I need money. Demon fruit. Um, we could sacrifice this guy. Okay, while you were congratulating the cook for his dwarf cheek stew, he told you about a recipe based on demon's gonads. Do you want to sacrifice one of your demons to provide him with the required ingredients? Plus 10 to all of master's resistances. So the shaman himself would go up to 35 fire, 35 ice, minus 10 armor, zero nature, minus 10 air. Um, sure. This guy's all about eating things anyway. All right, we've got some veterans. This is difficulty three. We don't get as much money, but we do get an artifact, which could be huge because we have no artifacts. So let's do the hero or the veterans. So we have a physical damage and dodges of the first trap. Air damage in the front replaces a penalty with a bonus once. Physical damage, broken armor, enrages, can't be affected by demoralized. So these guys are going to actually do a fair bit of targeted damage. So we've got physical in the back. So who can withstand uh, physical pretty well? We've got our little doot doot can. Probably put Chuck in the back here. We're still going to take a lot of physical on the front. You do not have much health. In fact, you will die because... Uh, at least you're faster than everybody else. So you'll get to go first. And then we could AoE fire. I think I want to do more fire, though. Uh, and then we'll do more fire. Spell room. Circular saw. Place your monsters. So we have physical in the front. Oh, and he protects people behind him, which is perfect. <laughs> All right. So we have irritating cry. Air damage and tiredness or conflagration. Fire, burn, activate solar blessing. So we want that one because then we can start doing AoE fire and it does 50% more. Fire eater. Yeah. And then we have, um, yeah, activate solar blessing. It's already on, but we'll just use this anyway. <laughs> oh no, these heroes are kicking my- oh god, we're in trouble. They've taken a fair bit of damage though. Oh my god, she's one health. Oh, he beheaded her! Air damage to everybody. Ice and air to the front. Fire and bounty. I think we're close to... I think we're going to kill everybody. I'm just going to hit everybody. Bite. Why do I have this critical? Hmm, guaranteed critical. 
Is it because of this? Lunar Blessing? I don't know. Ice damage in the front. Physical damage in the back. Gains dodge if you kill the target. Let's do that one. This one has pretty good armor. But the stacking bleeding is going to get him eventually. It's another ambush. We could stack the dodge. That's interesting. Cool. 15 blood, no tears, 49 gold, and then we get... Uh, we've seen all these before. Crystal Skull, chance that monsters come back to life as a skeleton warrior. That's a pretty decent one for almost any build. Damage. The first attack suffered by monsters placed at the back is returned to the assailant once per fight. Ice damage from monster attacks are dealt to the target's fire resistance if it's lower than ice resistance. That's tempting. We have a lot more fire than we have ice, but I'm thinking we'll probably have ice offered to us. I think I'll take the crystal skull, though. Great stalling tactic. All right, so we've got a little bit of motivational changes here. Uh, let's just get everybody in for now, just in case of events. So we have a trainer. We barely have any money. Who do we want to level up? We would gain a new attack. Doesn't seem necessary. Get one point of dodge. This one would lose... Um, hmm, loses 10% of maximum life and gains slowed. Can take another action during this turn. What? Is this all, every turn it automatically happens, or is it a skill I have to use? No, it looks like a new skill. Self, what? But if this is the other action I take, am I confused here? If I took this action and then can take another action, does this count as an action? Because then, then all I'm doing is just taking damage. What the heck? Applies vulnerable, uh, if this character is, if Chuck's in the front, he applies vulnerable to all other heroes when the skeleton trumpeter is defeated. Center attacks apply demoralized. Hmm. This guy, uh, attacks apply burn two if solar blessing is active. Ah, I guess. I like that idea. Let's train that one up. All right. We only have 16 gold left. Go to the, oh, we could go to the therapist and give everybody some motivation, but I'm doing, I'm doing pretty well. So let's do the event, try to make some money. Aha, perfect, yes. They tend to give you that when you're low on money. Black market, we could sell a monster. I don't want to do that. Lucky me? Regarding the bet you placed and won on a boar race a while back, a hulking shifty troll, excuse me, has come to demand you return his cash. You could also have one of your nearby employees get beaten up in your stead. Minus 70 life by choosing to face him. Um, I could send... <laughs> could send this monster to fight him and he would lose a motivation I mean he's already got to sit out the next fight so go beat him up thanks uh, okay event the secret ingredient <laughs> look at this guy what the hell the brewer behind strangle stout a world famous beer with a delicate aroma of stagnant slime is looking for hero tears to make a whole new blend she'll pay you in as much beer as you can urinate what will you make a contribution i can't i can't i don't have any tears i'm sorry oh uh, okay so we're moving on to adventure so let's set up our dungeon real quick you guys need to rest we have one extra slot for resting. Let's keep you behind to rest, all my fire characters. And um, let's do like so, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so we're all set for our next uh, combat, but we are, are all out of time for this episode, so I'm going to call this one here. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. I hope you're excited to uh, come along for the ride for a new uh, uh, monster, a new dungeon master character on chanchu uh this is very very exciting i love these new spirit creatures um this is this is gonna be really fun so again thank you everybody so much for watching please consider liking and subscribing and i will see you in the next episode